Dear students, welcome to virtual class of Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. I am Sri Kumar. The class is for 6th standard students. Subject is Mathematics. Let us begin the class. Dear students, we are entering into a new chapter. The chapter is uh, not that new for you, connected with your previous year's knowledge. Triangle and their properties. You know what is a triangle and you have studied certain properties of that. Just putting little more light on those knowledge is this chapter. Whenever the term triangle comes, we remember that it is a figure having three sides. A three-sided figure is triangle and we also know that this is not a triangle. The reason is that a triangle, though it is three-sided, it will be a closed figure. That means this type of open side won't be there. Then we call it as a triangle. In definition also, a triangle is a closed figure made by joining three collinear points by line segments. That means we should consider that there is a point here, there is a point here, there is a point here. All these points are not in a line, that is why non-collinear and joined by the line segment. These are the line segment which makes the sides of a triangle. And the vertices that is, this is one vertex, another vertex where the line segments are joining and the sides which I already marked and the angles, these are the angles, are really the parts of a triangle. So a triangle is a figure jo made by joining three collinear points and having three vertices, three sides and three angles because of the same reason. And this is not a triangle because it is not closed. This term is not applicable. Okay, let us move ahead. We are here to learn about types of triangle based on sides of a triangle. We know what are sides of a triangle. Based on that we can classify the triangles. How are they? The triangles based on the sides are one can be like this, the other can be like this and the third can be like this. What is the difference in the sides of the triangle? In order to know the difference the sides of this triangle we should look a little closer to it. How to look closer to it? We can either measure the sides of the triangle or we can have a general idea by looking at it. What is the general idea? On looking at this, we can see that these two sides, three sides, all these are of same size. Here when we see this side appears to be equal to this, but not this. Here we can see this is the longer side, this is the shorter side and this is a side in between having the size. So depending upon the sides, we can say that these three, si three triangles which are on the screen are different. We can also check the that how, how much right it is by measuring how long it is. How long it is, then we can measure it using a ruler, the length of the, if you are, if I am naming this as A, B, C and P, Q, R and X, Y, Z, we can fill up this particular uh, table given here by measuring it. If you want, I can just do it for you. I will take a scale from here. One second. It is a scale for me. I can do it for you now. It's not a problem. Take the scale here. Take the scale here and measure the distance of one, 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 one just uh, 
one one i will just, just do it for you once okay if i measure this is almost 5.5 cm if i do the measurement here by keeping it here you can see that it is also 5.5 because all the three sides are equal. See, it is 5.5. But on the other hand, here it is a very smaller side of 2.2. But the other two sides are, if I think, Okay, see, this side is almost of 5 cm, the same way this side is also almost 5 cm. Look at this. It is almost 5 cm. That means this is having two sides equal to 5 cm. The third side is different. So you'll write PQR. We will say that uh, I, will, I will just fill up it for you now. QR appears to be 2 point, sorry, 2.2 cm. PQ is 5 cm. PR is 5 cm. So there are different, these are different types of triangle because here all, all three sides are equal. Correct? When it comes here, two sides equal. Correct? When it comes here, no sides equal. No sides equal each other. So we got three types of triangle depending upon sides. Just by getting this triangle, it won't be sufficient. We should have an, a, a, an idea about how can we identify or how can we name it future. So we have named these triangles accordingly. For example, a triangle having all three sides equal are named as equilateral triangle. Equi is here. Equi means equal. Lateral means equal sides. All three sides equal. Then the next one is the type of triangle where two sides are equal, two equal sides are there. We call such triangles as, or we have named such triangles as isosceles triangle. Iso means same, same. Iso means having a meaning same. Isosceles having same sides. Iso similar. And it is just like a pendulum. Pendulum, you are not familiar with pendulum minor. Pendulum is an arrangement like this in a clock. It swings here, it swings here. So when wherever it swings, it will be having same same length, correct? And this will vary. That means this will vary. These two sides are equal. It can be like this, and it is a triangle or something. So, so here two sides equal are these two sides are equal. Any two sides should be equal. Then Third side same ko madlam it's an isosceles triangle. Coming the third type is round sides which is having no two uh, no any side is similar. That means a triangle with no two sides equal is called scalene triangle. Very special name, scalene triangle. Understood. So these are the types of triangle based on sides. Okay. There is one important thing you are getting in this chapter. You will answer the questions given in the test book accordingly. Okay, my dear students, let me go ahead. There is another way by which we can classify the triangle into different types based on angles. What is the measure of the angle? Based on angle means depending upon the measure of the angle. For example, if you are having a triangle like this, you can measure this angle 
this angle, this angle. How can we measure? We can measure it with the help of a protractor. Let me do that for you. Taking the protractor, this is a protractor which you are familiar with. And if you measure any of these angles, all these three sides are equal means angles. It is 60 degree here, 60 degree here. Even if you keep here, and I think this is for, you keep here and rotate it. And keep here. Again it is also having a measure equal to almost 60 degree or less than 60 degree it's almost 60 degree correct so all the measures are around 60 degree correct let me think about another triangle this is a triangle having one of the angle 90 degree Chalo. Let us keep it here. This is 90 degree over here. We can see. It's exactly 90 degree. One angle is 90 degree. Think about another kind of triangle where you are having a measure here. What is it? This is equal to 120 degree. Oh. And this is equal to 30 degree. And this one. is equal to again 30 degree. That means here we are having 90 degree from other measurement, 50 degree and 30 degree. That means these triangles are having uh, different measures to their angle. One thing we noticed, these are having angles having measure less than 90 degree. Understood? Let me change the color of the pen. Here we are having a 90 degree angle. Here we are having one angle at least more than 90 degree. Here it is less than 90 degree. Understood? So we are having three types of triangle depending upon their angle. And accordingly we can name them also. Name them in the sense that depending upon the measure of the angle. And we can measure it and write. And we will see that in this case, in the case of DEF, if I name this as DEF, we found that measure of uh, measure of angle D, measure of angle E, measure of angle F, which is equal to 60 degree in this case. 60 degree, let me change the color. 60 degree here, 60 degree here, 60 degree here. That is measure of angle F. When it came to PQR, let me name it as P, Q and R where I found that Q is measure of Q first I did which is equal to 90 degree. Understood? And it is found 90 degree and the other angle happens to be 50 degree here it is 30 degree measure of angle P is equal to 30 degree and this happens to be 60 degree measure of angle R when here we found that this is measure of angle L M N. I measured M first, I will write N first, which is equal to 120 degree, right? And I found that this is equal to 30 degree and this one is equal to 30 degree. So we are having different measures, different type of uh, triangles. And we found, we can classify them into, in such a way that the triangle having a, a, a tri three a, three angles acute acute means acute is having a sense you have studied that acute is having a sense less than less than 90 degree such triangles as acute angled triangle so
So this is an acute angled triangle. Understood? The same way we can think about this triangle which is having a 90 degree or right angle, we will call it as right angled triangle. Right angled triangle. And here you are having another triangle which is uh, having all these uh, uh, different measure but one of the angle is equal to more than 90 which we named as obtuse angled. Obtuse angled means having at least one angle obtuse angled triangle. Obtuse angled triangle having a triangle with uh, one obtuse angle. So these are the different types of triangle depending upon the measure of the angle. Now, another aspect you have to study in this chapter is about some of the measures of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. That means you take any triangle, you measure the angle 1, measure the angle 2, measure the angle 3 and angle the measure of angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 it will be equal to 180 degree. That is what is given here. So this information also you should learn, understand and keep in mind while doing the sums of this chapter. And it can be proved. There are certain activities given in your textbook by which you can prove that the sum of the angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degree. One of the experiment given is like this. Look at this triangle. This is a triangle, right? And you know, triangle will be having three angles. Let me name it as A, B and C. Okay? This is a triangle. I am going to, uh, this is taken in a paper. I have taken the triangle in a paper and I am going to uh, just fold it in these dotted lines. It's a paper triangle supposed to be. Okay? This is a paper triangle. And I'm going to fold this or cut this in this particular line at this point and I will be folding it over. The, just I will be folding it. You please watch. Before that let me mark this as B angle, C angle and A angle. Okay. All these triangles are marked. Three angles are there. It is a triangle and I'm going to fold it at the dotted line. See, I have folded it. So you can see that when I fold it, the triangle comes here. Okay, so now just what I will do, I will fold other two corners also. For that, if let me mark that, the A now reach it here, now down. Again, I will fold it on this side, both sides. For that, I should fold and cut, remove it. I will remove it, okay, I removed that part and I will bring it back, turning it, or turn karke leke around. It fits over here. Turn karke leke hai. Okay. That you should know. I turned it and brought it back. I will show it once again for you. See. The triangle which was taken removed. I will remove it. And will turn it and bring back. Okay. Turning it and bringing it back. Guma ke leke hai. So it comes and fits over there. The same way I will cut remove this green corner also of the triangle. And and you can see that it can be removed for so that this C has been reached over here the C angle removing the green side also turning it and bringing it back so that it will fit over there so that end will be the B that means the A B C over here is meeting here and it completes a the figure completes the what we say the three corners of the triangle or three angles of the triangle here the green part, here the uh, yellowish part and the blue. This is A, this is A, the angle of the original triangle. This is B, the angle of the original triangle. This is C, the angle of the original triangle. That means A plus B plus C. This is A, this is B and this is C. Together, is on a line. 
that means it is 180 degree so these three angles a b c are originally the angles of triangle a b and c so when a plus b plus c the angle together it could lie on a single line and it made 180 degree this way we can prove that uh, the three angles of a triangle together make 180 degree. you have to do this with the help of a paper and make a triangle any form of triangle but preferably and cut it mark here at the middle cut it here bring it back here then cut this over here keep it over here keep it over here then it will become total will get matched with understood that is one way of uh, doing this let me show you here is a triangle and I am going to mark the angles of it this triangle Okay, you can mark it like this. First of all, you can mark it like this. You can mark the three angles of it. Okay, mark the three angles of the triangle. Okay, you can color the three angles differently so that you will identify it later because you are going to cut this into pieces. I colored it red over there green over here okay and uh, put a draw a line in another paper and cut those uh, corners of the triangle cut the corners of the triangle and bring it into a particular we mark a point over there and mark a point and mark a point and keep it there and uh, you bring all the three corners cut from the triangle and you will see that it matches together and make 180 degree. I have done it here and uh, we will be doing it for other Just keeping it on the line, cut cut the other 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 corner like this. You can cut from there. Bring that blue colored angle also over there. Cut it and paste it over there. You can place that blue part also and adjust it in such a way that it matches with the line or the sides of the triangle. So blue can be fixed over there on another side. Keep in uh, properly with uh, the line drawn. Go to the third angle over there. That is uh, green in color. Remove that and edge also. We take out this part also, cut that part and keep it in the line in accordingly. Turn it and keep it properly. You will see that it exactly completes the three angles together. The color is unimportant here. This is first angle, second angle, third angle. All together it will uh, give you 180 degree. adjust it it will go exactly in the gap okay the three angles when kept together it completed the figure understood completed 180 degree i would say otherwise sorry
you can see that uh, in this case let me make you understand you can see that this angle plus this angle plus this angle all together stand perfectly on this particular line making 180 degree these are angles taken from the triangle the first one uh, a is here b is here c is here all together makes 180 these are all activity cannot be shown that good on the screen. You can do it with the help of a triangle cut in a cardboard or a piece of paper. You can do it. And you can see that all the three uh, angles of the triangle fit with each other and it comes out smoothly. Okay, my dear students. So certain properties you studied today. First thing you studied was that the triangle is a closed figure having three sides, three vertices and three angles. Triangles can be classified into three types depending upon sides like equilateral, right, isosceles and scalene. You also found that triangles can be classified into three categories depending upon angle like acute angled triangle, right angled triangle and obtuse angled triangle. And you also studied that sum of angles of a triangle is always 180. One more point is the, to tell you directly, if you take any two, sum of two angles, sum of two angles, if you consider, you know that total is 180. So naturally, if one is 90, the other two together will become 90. That is quite damn sure now. So suppose if, if the one is 10 degree, the other is 70 degree, 80, the third angle will be 100 degree. That means it is always like total must be, uh, a total of the angles must be 180 degree. And if you think about one second. Not angle, sum of two, sum of two sides of a triangle, for example, one second, sum of two, right, sum of two sides of a triangle, if you happen to add sum of two sides of a triangle will be, will be, will be greater than, will be greater than third side. It's a simple observation like that. That means if there is a triangle, like any triangle, if you add any two sides of it, one plus two, that will be more than the third side. If you are considering this as second, one plus two will be more than two. If you consider this as one, this as two, it will be having measured more than third side. That means any two sides you add, it will be greater than the third side that these are something which is uh, to be kept in mind about regarding what is a triangle, what are the types of triangle depending upon sides, what are the triangle depending upon the angle, what is, uh, how can we prove that some of the angles of a triangle is 180, not only prove, apply that in the sums given in the textbook and also if two sides of a triangle is added, it will be greater than third side. Okay, okay my dear student, that's all in this video. We will get the next in the next video. Thank you. Now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel. Then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos. Thank you.